Hello folks, so this is obviously a dub because the microphone decided not to work on this first part of the video, but basically what I'm going to do is going to take a look at the Volvo 48. You've got a few jobs that I should have been doing this weekend on the two Vauxhalls, but it's pouring down with rain outside, so we're going to stay under the covers, under the uh, carport, and we're going to have a look at the 480. Going to try to tackle the welding areas, or at least starting to prep them up for welding, cutting, cleaning them down, and figuring out what we're going to do in and around those areas. So instead of waffling on, what I'm going to do is get on with the video. Not quite sure how well the light's going to be here. So, if you remember, where we were at last time was we took the rear axle off and all the bits associated with it. And it took quite a bit of work to do. Now, this has left me with a couple of problems. The first being this this arm here, part of the suspension on the rear. So I fear I made a mistake on the rear, uh, or the, the rear suspension. So this is it from the back, the rear suspension strut there. It's like a stabilizing point, and obviously the, the bushes on it are ruined. Now, to get it off, I started cutting, you can see, the end of the bolt off there to get it out, because it just would not come off. And... I then managed to get the bolt off on the inside. Really difficult to see. There we go. Sorry, the nut. And it left the bolt protruding. Now, I started to think, uh, have I made a mistake? Was that a captive bolt? But no, it can't be. It's got to knock through. Otherwise, there's no way of taking that rod off. So, as much as it looks like that it must come off so I think that's something to do I think I need to get that off because that would that would give me a bit of peace of mind if nothing else and then I'm actually tempted to get the uh, the wire brush out and the, the, the flappy disc out let's get this bit cleaned up and let's get this piece repaired and that's a, I think that's a, a reasonably easy starting point to make a repair on so that I can get an idea of how to how to get the welding working and things like that before tackling some of the trickier bits. It's also ready to go. There's not a lot that I'd need to do. The inner arch is out and all that kind of thing. So I think that's the plan of action. Let's get the let's get the suspension uh, arm off. That will give me peace of mind and then let's uh, let's have a go at cleaning this up and see what happens. So, what's happened now is I've kind of got bored trying to solve that problem. I'm not, still not quite sure how to get that bolt out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this area, make a template, and um, see if I can cut out the piece of metal that I need to replace this. So first thing I think is flappy disc. Let's take this back to the metal and see how much of this rust I need to get rid of, and then we can make a template.
hopefully you can still hear me because I've got quite a bit of noise going on. Uh, it's pouring down with rain outside so I'm glad I've got the carport here to keep me dry. So um, after looking into this piece here and talking to my brother, because my brother's done some welding and repairing bar panels on his car a lot of years ago, um, I think the consensus is to get a replacement panel to uh, to put in here because there are some some awkward corners and things like that. Uh, it was a cost I didn't really want to go for because it's not that cheap, but I think it's something that is going to have to take place. Um, you can't get rear sills, no, you can't get sills, I should say. Um, but I think that piece isn't too bad because it's a fairly straight cut and weld on that piece. It's the arch that's more interesting. So I'm actually going to switch from doing this bit and I'm going to go down and see if I can see if I can work out how to do the sill. So I think the first thing is I'm going to get the wire brush out and um, try to get rid of some of that rust and see what we're tackling. So I'll try and get you a, a bit of light and a bit of a decent angle so you can see what's going on. I can't actually remember which company it was that sent me the photographer lights. But uh, thank you very much for sending that through because they did send them quite some time ago for a, for a review. And it does help with things like this being able to see what we're looking at. So I'm going to get, I think, the wire, the wire wheel on my electric drill screwdriver. And let's try and get some of those bits off the sill bottom and see what we're looking at. Something I hadn't really thought of is that there is like a, well there's an under seal coat that's been applied to most of the sill. Something that hadn't occurred to me is I actually need to get this off because I need to have a surface that I can weld to. The idea being what I'm going to do is cut this piece out and weld a new piece in and to do that I'm going to have to be able to weld to something and it's going to have to be good clean metal. Now you see, what I've managed to do is scrape away, just as a practice, some of this stuff and get down to decent metal. Similar, there you can see similar metal there. That's decent metal. So that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to have to work out where I need to scratch away this under seal and uh, clean it off enough so that I can, I can get myself a lip of clean metal that I'm going to be able to weld to. And that's, uh, that's quite difficult. You know, sometimes these start off with great intentions, these videos, and I've spent a good part of the day working through this. Uh, we'll ground a little bit of this back, we can start to see clean metal, which isn't bad, but I can see the extent to what I need to cut out and form. Um, I think this one is going to be a repair panel. I think getting the, the curves, and actually I was talking to my brother Graham about this, and, and forming and curving this is going to be difficult. So I think getting a, a replacement rear panel, whilst not that great for this car there's not that many repair panels available might be the way forward for that the sill I think is doable though I think uh, the hard part here what I'm going to do is cut the affected piece out and uh, then clean some of this under seal off going to try and look up how to clean off under seal 
So I've got a solid piece. And then I can make a panel to come down here and replace this section here. So I think that's the plan now. Um, this video hasn't really gone very far, I know. It's more looking at all of the problems that I've got and um, how to solve them. So I'm afraid it's not the best of videos, but it's a little bit more progress on the Volvo. I am hoping to make some further progress and actually get this moving along because right now it's stalled quite a bit on these sections. Getting these sections welded and solid, really, the other parts, mechanically replacing calipers, springs, things like that, that's not too bad. Those ones I can, I can work through. These ones are really stalling the whole project, so really need to make some progress. So that's what we're going to do, get some progress on this, and hopefully the next video I'll have some parts, I'll have some bits of metal, uh, we can start fabricating and potentially weld them up. So hopefully stick with me next video we'll try and get some parts delivered and we'll try and make progress on the Volvo 480. Please do put some comments down the bottom let me know is this worthwhile should I be doing this or um, should I be moving on ditching this and maybe getting something different to play about with I don't know give me your ideas and uh, do subscribe and we'll have some more car videos coming up very very soon on the channel thanks for watching